we really want to do something significant to slow this so that our grandchildren don't face a changing world, we're going to have to do a substantial movement away from the key fossil fuels of coal and oil, particularly. In January 2001, McCracken participated in a headline-grabbing report for the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The IPCC said there was now new and stronger evidence that most of the warming observed over the last 50 years is attributable to human activities. The statement that came out of the IPCC said, look, humans are the main cause. And that turned out to be very controversial. ExxonMobil's response was severe. A company lobbyist faxed the Bush administration demanding McCracken and several others who worked with the IPCC be removed, accusing them of scientific bias. The fax was sent by Randy Randall, the senior environmental advisor to Exxon Mobil. It says the U.S. was represented by Clinton Gore carryovers with aggressive agendas. And so he offered his thoughts on what should be done. Exxon just didn't like the science that was coming out. And so was basically calling for a complete replacement of those who were leading the scientific enterprise. Within two years, the scientists that ExxonMobil had named, including McCracken, would retire or be replaced. ExxonMobil tried to control the discussion in the United States and then put off the problem. We'll make our profits now and we'll slowly change, but we won't do anything urgent enough as, as the science was indicating. And so I chose to write a letter directed to Lee Raymond as chairman and chief executive, but copied to everybody else. Dear Mr. Raymond, while my departure may be satisfying to ExxonMobil, I can assure you that this will not make the scientific challenge of climate change and its impacts go away. That 150 countries unanimously agree about the science of this issue is not because of some green conspiracy but because of the solid scientific underpinning for this issue. To call ExxonMobil's position out of the mainstream is thus a gross understatement. And then a few weeks later, I received a response from Kenneth Cohen, who was vice president for public affairs. In summary, we regret that you apparently don't understand the company's actions and activities related to this complex issue. Possible human-induced climate change is a long-term risk that we at ExxonMobil take very seriously. They had to write something.